for Seti and the sun god, because they are amongst the blessed, they can go through and in fact they decide to some extent who gets to be blessed and who gets to be damned. But Seti won't always go unchallenged on this journey. He'll have to face his nemesis, Apophis, a powerful demon snake that represents evil incarnate to all ancient Egyptians much like snakes do in many cultures today. On Seti's journey, the serpent demon threatens to plunge the world into chaos. Before he died, Seti battled a worldly chaos, helping to bring about a golden age in Egyptian history. Seti I was one of the greatest kings of the New Kingdom. He built many impressive things, but he was also a warrior. In his 11 years as pharaoh, Seti brought order to a land scarred by religious and social upheaval. He defined and secured Egypt's borders in Palestine and Nubia, and defeated invaders from the Libyan desert. But overshadowing all that, Seti was focused on the day he would die. Because in death he was merged with the sun god, his resurrection was crucial. By Seti's time, Egyptians had developed elaborate instructions to make sure that happened. If you look at the tomb of Seti, you'll see how the ancient Egyptian carefully